Electric vehicles are a combination of electronic and electrical components working together. They have a constant flow of electrical energy and information through the many wires that connect these components. You just don't see all the wires because they are bound together by a wiring harness that is a collection of wires, their terminals, and connectors held together by a durable and insulating material. The wiring harness is designed in such a way that multiple wires are organized into several bunches that follow specific routes along the body of the vehicle. Not only does this simplify handling, but it also reduces the chance of short circuits in the system. It also optimizes the way space is used in the electric vehicle and protects the wires from external damage. EVs have wires that run on for miles on end, and having them loosely lying around the vehicle would prove to be an inconvenience. But it isn't as simple as just taking the wires and putting them together. Before a wiring harness is developed, it is vital to model and simulate the positioning of components and the route of wires. It has to be designed in a way that efficiently uses the space in the EV while making sure that all necessary components are connected. Behind the design of a wiring harness are four main steps. These include selecting the components and their placement, the wiring diagram, selecting the right harness, and electrical routing. Before the path of wires can be designed, the components along its way needs to be selected. These include high voltage components like the battery pack, motor and inverter, as well as low voltage components like lights, fuses, relays, tubes and sensors. Next comes the placement of these vehicles in a circuit to develop a wiring diagram. The components are laid out and connected together. After the components and wires are positioned appropriately, the wiring harness is designed. Specific design requirements are taken because the harness passes through parts of the vehicle that are exposed to heat and moisture. The 3D design of the wiring harness gets converted to a 2D diagram through a process called flattening. Flattening provides accurate measurements and manufacturing specifications that can be used by manufacturers. And last is electrical routing, where the course of the wiring harness through the EV is visualized. The flattened diagram tells us the path the wires run through the vehicle and the length of the harness needed. This is called routing and makes sure that all components are connected without interfering with each other. It also assembles the path in which electricity will flow through the components to minimize complexity caused by the wiring harness running through the vehicle. The design of a wiring harness takes the difference between high and low voltage systems into account. High voltage wiring harnesses are used for DC voltages beyond 250 to 750 volts, and low voltage wiring harnesses are used for DC voltages less than 250 volts. A high voltage wiring harness connects components that work on high voltages, like the battery, motor, and inverter of an electric vehicle together as they are a part of the high voltage system. The battery and inverter are connected together by an underfloor wiring harness which is longer in length than the power cable connecting the battery and motor together. In order to prevent interference caused by electromagnetic noise, both harnesses require shielding, as the underfloor harness has protectors to shield wires from external damage. Each component is connected by two wiring harnesses to split the load. In the electric vehicle, the wiring harness begins at the charging port where you plug it into the charger. It then goes on to the onboard charger that converts AC to DC. And from here, the wiring harness goes to the rapid splitter. The rapid splitter plugs into the battery pack and is also the point where the connection splits into two routes. While one route goes to the motor supply, the other goes to the high power distribution module. As the motor is responsible for acceleration and deceleration, the motor supply route is connected to the transmission. The high power distribution model is connected to the air compressor, battery heater unit, DC-DC converter, and the positive temperature coefficient cabin heater. While the high voltage system connects these components, a cell or module from the high voltage battery pack powers the components of the low voltage system the DC to DC converter brings down the high voltage from the battery pack to a lower voltage level that can be supplied to the auxiliary electronic systems. This converter connects to a 12 volt lead acid battery. 
The total load is shared between the lead acid battery and the DC to DC converter. From here, electrical energy flows to each individual component of the low voltage system, such as the headlights, tail lights, and wipers. A primary difference in the wiring harness of EVs and IC engines is that the EV has a high voltage system with many wires. Each vehicle model has its own wiring harness configuration. Since the wiring harness system is made by hand, it comes at a high cost. They also prevent safety hazards caused by exposed wires and disorganized circuits. So, having an organized wiring harness keeps the electrical energy flowing through the system in a safe and efficient manner.